dangerous news. Massive manhunt, suspected rapist and murderer who escaped Pennsylvania prison by, you know, going old school. He climbed up on top of some exercise equipment, slid down a roof, and had some bed sheets tied together to help him lower himself to the ground. 34-year-old Michael Burham. All right, you're seeing him there. He's got uh, some pretty readily identifying tattoos. Um, face, you know, he could change that very easily, though. Could shave his head, could shave his beard. He said to have a military background, uh, reservist uh, level, survivalist skills. Uh, he was being held in prison or in jail, rather, uh, because of a $1 million bail because of kidnapping, burglary, and other charges. They wanted to keep him there. They were worried about what he might do next because he's already suspected of murdering and raping the mother of one of his kids. Let's bring in the district attorney of Chautauqua County, New York, where some of those crimes were allegedly committed. His name is Jason Schmidt. It's good to see you, sir. Appreciate you doing the job. What can you tell us on the current status? Thanks. Uh, there's, there's an active manhunt going on. We've got numerous law enforcement agencies that are involved. You've got on the local level, our uh, sheriff's office together with our Jamestown Police Department, uh, New York State Police, FBI. We're uh, in tandem with uh, Pennsylvania State Police, uh, Warren uh, Police, uh, uh, Sheriff's Office in Warren, of course. Uh, so you've got a lot of law enforcement out there looking for this individual. Now, I think we're showing people some ring camera and some pictures of the guy. Uh, I believe News Nation has acquired a photo of the sheets that he used to get away. But that's, you know, that's just uh, nonsense detail. Your specific concern is uh, that he could be coming back to where you are uh, for two sets of reasons. One is familiarity. Two could be unfinished business. The second one matters more. How so? Well, you know, Mr. Burham has ties to the community. His family is here. His friends is here. This is where he he grew up. Uh, the witnesses in the case that we're trying to develop against him uh, in connection with the homicide, they're all local here. So our immediate concern is their safety, the safety of the community. Uh, so we've uh, taken some steps to, to preserve everybody's safety so that we are, you know, we're not caught off guard by this situation. Uh, do you believe that people have been in contact with him from your community? That's hard to say. Uh, you know, we don't take anything for granted. Obviously, he's out there. He's been pretty resilient. He wasn't taken into custody immediately. And, as soon, you know, as soon as he escaped and the longer that somebody is out there, the more likely that, the, the you know, that uh, the perimeter starts to expand uh, and he could be uh, in communication with people that he's familiar with. Mm. Um, the suspect has the allegation of a rape. Uh, that became a murder and then some ancillary crimes of uh, burning up a vehicle, kidnapping an elderly couple. Is this his one crime spree or is this man someone with a big jacket, as they say in your business? Does he have a lot of cases that he's had in the past? No, uh, yeah, in, April, uh, in April 27th, we, uh, there was a rape in the first degree uh, charge that was filed against Mr. Burham. It resulted in an arrest warrant out of the city of Jamestown here in Chautauqua County, New York. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.